At Pizza Land, we recently invested in a mobile coupon service to deliver specials to potential customers of our stores in the San Francisco Bay Area. We're interested in understanding what type of traffic the couponing service is driving to our stores so that we can determine the return on investment for Pizza Land. To begin to answer this question, we've loaded up our 14 franchise store locations on the map. Next, we're going to look over time and location to see when coupons were sent to potential customers. Now I'm going to scrub across time to see when and where customers receive coupons. The coupons are indicated as small purple circle icons. The analysis shows that a large number of coupons were sent out in the morning and they were delivered to suburban locations. As we get closer to the lunchtime, we see more coupons being sent out to more urban areas where the working population is high in the middle of the day. Then towards the end of the day, we begin to see coupons being sent to both urban and suburban locations as consumers try to find dinner destinations. Now we'll zoom into downtown San Francisco to get a better look at where coupons are being redeemed. Coupons being redeemed are represented by uh, large orange circles that represent the value of the transaction that occurred at the restaurant. We notice immediately that there's nobody buying pizza for breakfast. But as we get to the lunch hour, we can see a spike in coupon redemption at Pizza Land stores, especially in downtown San Francisco. We can see that the Russian Hill, Financial District, and Soma outlets are all receiving the most lunch traffic. Later in the day, we see more activity in the Sunset District and the San Francisco University and Merced areas outside of the major metropolitan area. Um, although we also see that several downtown locations continue to do well after the work hours. Based on this analysis, we can see that we're getting a good return on the couponing service driving traffic to stores which traditionally didn't do well during these hours. The additional promotions being driven through the coupon service have increased traffic at stores where we normally didn't have after hour sales um, in the financial areas and downtown. In addition to getting tactical feedback on our promotion strategy, we can also leverage the data for strategic analysis. Next, we'll add all the tweets that mention pizza as an indicator of potential market demand, shown as small blue icons with white rings. Looking at the tweets in conjunction with coupons that were served where there wasn't a convenient pizza land ro location to redeem them, we can identify opportunities for expansion. To validate the, uh, these expansion candidates, we can also add competitor locations, shown as large red squares. Uh, looking at the analysis, we can see that Stanford University looks to be a prime location for expansion. This is further supported by the success we've seen in our San Francisco University location, which has driven store demand throughout the day to match diverse eating habits of the university population, and Stanford seems to have ideal potential um, looking across similar indicators. Overall, Appcelerator's Titanium Plus Geo brings an entirely new data source to Pizza Land with valuable insight into customer behavior. It also provides a solid return on investment tool for quantifying the impact of investments into both mobile and social promotions. A great win all around for Pizza Land.